Good morning, friends. It's Thursday, February 17th, 2022. It's minus 32 outside. I got to the truck. The airlines were frozen again, or the valves, and my brakes were frozen, and my hands are frozen. They're really hot right now, though, because just warming them up real quick before running back to the truck. I'm running a little bit behind now. I got here and I had to detach the airlines again and run some airline antifreeze through them to get the valves to unstick because it wasn't building air. Now I know how to fix that myself. I sort of had to figure that out myself, but uh, we did that last time, remember? <laughs> so it happened again, and we fixed it again, and then I realized my brakes were frozen on the tractor. So I had to figure those figure those out. That's not as hard to get those to release as uh, a trailer that's frozen, because I can just lock the diffs and put power to every single wheel and axle, and then just put her in gear and start driving, and it'll release because then power is going to every wheel. So that that's not that hard to get those to release, but those were frozen. And then the valve in my dash for my for my brakes were frozen. So when I pulled the brakes, when I backed it out of here, pulled the brakes, it just gushed air out of the dash. Like, pshhh, because the dash inside there was cold and the valve in there was frozen. So then I had to sit with the truck, wait for it to warm up. Once the interior warmed up enough, then the dash warmed up, then the valve unstuck, and now everything's working just fine. Oh, the joys of winter, but we're almost through this winter, right? It's almost March. That means springtime's coming soon. You know, in the U.S., they always say April showers bring May flowers. Well, here it's more like May showers bring June flowers, because we're a little... Our winters are... They're, they're long. But first... Cheers! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. It's cold, but it's still nice. This one's hot, but that's for later. It's gonna be our friend later. I got the truck warming up behind me over there. Oh, it's another cold one. I wasn't expecting it to be. You know, I made the mistake of not checking the forecast. And what do I always tell you? Always know the forecast. Know what's coming tomorrow. Don't be caught off guard like me. Good thing I knew how to fix everything. Somewhat of a mechanic myself, if I do say so. Part-time mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's go. Wait, something went ding. I don't know what that was. Did you hear that? Okay, let's turn that down. Let's turn this up. Got my keys. Jagged. All right. Extra toque just in case. Okay. Throw my jacket on here yet, real quick. Come with me. See what my day is like. <sighs> Gotta put my jacket on first. Let's not forget this. I have forgotten this before. I just don't wear it in my pickup because grease. I'm the grease monster. I have lots of grease all over me because I keep touching things I'm not supposed to touch. Story of my life. <laughs> I think I said that joke yesterday already. Uh, well, it's still funny today. Okay, I can't get my zipper up. Can, can you guys help me? How do I do a zipper? How, why is my zipper? There we go. There we go. Okay. Walk up to the old beast. There you go. You be good now. See you later. Oh, I didn't want to take this. I don't need this. This is my uh, fancy pickup mask. Not going to need that soon. Mm -mm. Good news. Not in Manitoba. I'm done with those. I want to show you something. Look at that. Uh, that's the exhaust for the natural gas heat. It's got like a sculpture beneath it. That's funny. I think it's funny. I don't care if you don't think it's funny. I think it's funny. It makes it funny. All right. There she is. Look at her. Look at her. Running all nice and nice and like, like she does. All right. Oh. Oh boy, I need to go get some more airline antifreeze. I used the rest of mine on this today, so we're gonna go run and get that. Whew. Nice. Okay. So we're on our merry little way up to Slave Falls, Manitoba. There's a trailer there I gotta pick up and bring back. So I'm bobtailing. I already picked up one load this morning, brought that back to the yard. And this will be my second and final assignment of the day. 
I gotta bring it into Winnipeg in the morning. I should be back at the yard around the end of the day. I'm thinking like five o'clock. As long as it's ready to go, right? So we're just here at Seddon's Corner. For those of you familiar with Cotter's Country, Manitoba. This is the rural municipality of Lac de Bonnet, a Four Seasons playground. We're gonna go right past Milner Ridge, which is our uh, one of our prisons in Manitoba. I think it's one of the the least secure security prisons. I get secure, but. This is for the inmates that have been really good and have good behavior. You know, they get like a lot of time outside and it's a pretty relaxed environment. I always wonder why they put it way out here in the bush. Like if they wanted to get out and run, they could just disappear into the woods and never be seen again. So for whatever reason, they decided to build a jail way out here. And there's people that live along this road too. So I mean, disappear into the woods, break into someone's garage, steal their car, and boom, they're gone, right? But maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just paranoid. I don't know, I wouldn't want to live that close to a prison. It's like these people, they live right here. That would make me a little nervous, but I guess, you know, the prison is for the well-behaved ones. You know, they could just behave well just to get here where there's very low security and they can easily escape. <laughs> what do I know? I've never been in corrections or anything, but I have some friends that have been in corrections. And they didn't seem too worried about it. They said that it's a, it's a very secure facility. You know, they've never had any, haven't really had any problems, so. Okay. My truck was frozen again this morning. I had to run airline antifreeze through the airlines again to get everything thought out, frozen, unfrozen. At least I know how to fix it myself now so I don't have to wait three days for the shop to look at it. I can just fix it myself in like 15 minutes. If I have the tools with me, that is. Lately, I've just been leaving all the tools I need for that right beside my seat.
it is that beautiful time of day again everybody the day when we get to move from this truck to that truck and go to bed because i'm an adult and bedtime is like one of my favorite times of day whoa zip everything up zip 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 so organize excuse me this handle this this handle on this lunch kit I tell you what, it gets hooked on absolutely everything and I don't use it for anything, but I don't want to cut it off because it's such a nice lunchbox. It's such a dilemma. It's caught on everything. All right, so there's the GoPros, Bluetooth, extra toque, shades. My fancy case, I'm going here. Okay, mug, garbage I'm gonna throw out tomorrow because I'm lazy today. I'm gonna log out of here. One sec, there we go. I'm gonna log out of here. Beautiful, okay. I'll log down, grab this, grab that. Grab everything. Okay. Let's move it, move it. Cause I like to move it, move it. Most important thing in the wintertime, plug this baby in. <sighs> Otherwise she won't start tomorrow. Ooh. Oh God, oh, there we go. Wunderbar, very beautiful. King Julian likes, King Julian. Now I gotta watch Madagascar. Take this jacket off of me. Much to do, so much to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Take this, throw this in there like that. Take all the expensive valuables like this, like that, like that. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Yes. We're ready to go home. Oh, it's six o'clock. So much work to do. We need help. Any of you want, any of you hardworking people want to work? We need some hardworking people. Over the road, city, regional, long haul, dry van, flatbed. Anybody want to work? We got work. Lots of work. You get in touch with me, I'll find you work. No shortage of that here. Everybody's fighting over the same drivers and we're gonna win you. We're gonna win you over and I'm gonna show you that it's better here than where you're at. Maybe it's time for a change, you know? Come work with me. You could drive a city truck, you could drive a highway truck, a van truck, a deck truck, a big truck, a little truck. You could pull all kinds of different trailers and loads. The options are endless. All you gotta do is just get in touch with me. I'm kinda hard to get, get a hold of, I'll admit that. Keep trying, it's worth it. <laughs> Remember, you gotta be a Canadian citizen. You gotta have two years of over the road experience or two, two years experience or be willing to be trained. Uh, I have to have a valid commercial license with uh, a, a good abstract. Okay. Timmy's, it's empty. And you gotta be willing to work. Because we'll put you to work. Tell you what. There is no such thing around here as no work. There's always something to do. Always something to do. That's a nice Chevy pickup running right there. It's nicer than mine. It's not fair. One day I'll have a new truck, maybe the next model year. I don't know. I'm hoping this truck will last another five to 10 years. I don't really want to buy a new one. New ones cost money. <coughs> See, you'd be pulling that kind of stuff. You could be driving a nice T6. Hey, that's blue 42. Blue 42! 
with another man. Well, I'm glad someone's taking care of her. So if you see Blue 42 now, it's not me. She has a new man in her life now. <laughs>